Hey there! In this video I am going to explain some of the more advanced Darius tips and tactics. Don't worry though, they are useful to know even if you are a beginner or just someone who needs to know the game better. Let's get started. Tip number 1. You probably know that Darius's W gives an auto attack reset. What you probably don't know is that it also gives increased attack range. It's not a huge increase from 175 to 200, but it can matter if you are chasing someone and you need to hit them as soon as possible. Tip number 2. The range of your E is actually a little larger than the casting indicator makes it seem. You can get a rough idea of how big that difference is by looking at this clip. I did not do many takes on this, so it could possibly go even a bit further, and I think it also works this exact way from the center of the handle. Tip number 3. This one is actually more of a bug than an interaction, but every Darius player should be aware of this. Sometimes you will get your ultimate to reset when dunking an enemy even without dealing the killing blow. Considering how weird of a bug this is, it actually happens pretty often, maybe once every three games or something like that. Tip number 4. This one is more basic but very important. It is a special synergy with Black Cleaver. As you know, this item gives you bonus movement speed for 2 seconds whenever you do physical damage. This thing is also triggered by your passive, of course, since it does physical damage just like the rest of your kit. It is also damage over time spell, so you can just hit or even a minion with your Q to get that additional movement speed for over 5 seconds. Tip number 5. Darius's ultimate is dash. Therefore, when you're rooted you can cast any of your spells except your ultimate. Also, don't be afraid to fight people under their minion waves as long as you're sure you can kill them. That fear on your ultimate, while mostly cosmetic, can sometimes save your life from a cannon minion or a grom. Tip number 6. This one is also about your ultimate. You should know that it is unstoppable. Not only does it still cast if your enemy flashes out of its range, once the animation has started, it also casts itself even if you get stunned during the cast. In fact, not even using a stopwatch stops your dunk. There, there, there are some exceptions though. Graves' W, for example, will sometimes mess up your ultimates. And one of the most annoying things for any Darius main is casting an ultimate on a vein who is in her ultimate. In case you aren't unfortunate to know what happens next, the vein uses her Q, stealthing herself and cancelling your ultimate in the middle of the animation. Leaving you standing 600 units away from her, helpless, waiting for her W to do its job. So yeah, take care. Tip number 7. Let's spice it up with some matchup tips. Those are less universally useful, so I'm going to just quickly point out the most important. First, team is considered a hard matchup. But if you get a Spectre Skull, or maybe even an entire Spirit Visage, if you feel like tryharding, you can smash him. Second, when playing versus Garen, use your W immediately after he casts his Q. This way, he cannot use the slow cleanse. Also, when facing Chase or Vayne, use your E after they use their gap extender, that being the E ability of both champions, I think. This way, once you got them, you got them. Early ganks can and will shut you down. Always expect to get ganked 10 times in the first 5 minutes into the game. If it does not happen, great, start pressuring more. If it does, however, you will have been prepared. Tip number 8. Start W. It helps you farm, it helps you in all ends. Furthermore, people are so used to starting Q that they will not even expect you to start W and will not be prepared to eat the slow. Tip number 9. This one is for all of you watching since it works with many other abilities and other champions. If you want to flash ult someone, as soon as possible, hit R on them and then flash. However, you must not issue any other movement commands in the meantime for this to work. It feels a bit gimmicky, but once in 10 games it can help you, just often enough for it to be viable enough to be mentioned. And finally tip number 10, 
Darius has some interesting interactions with the item Guardian Angel. Since the ultimate is unstoppable, it will finish itself if you enter the revival part of the item in the middle of the animation. Also in some rare situations, you will manage to get the HP from the item and a heal from your Q to stack. It's not that common of an item on Darius, but it's one of my personal favorite items for the utility it gives. So yeah, have some interactions in case you're curious or you consider buying this item on Darius. Thanks for watching and if you found these tips useful, you can subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye bye.